It's a tangle of streets that's so confusing, people have nicknamed it the hairball. Sky Drone 5 giving us a perspective from above. It's the spot Highway 101, Cesar Chavez, and Bayshore Boulevard intersect in San Francisco. New at 6 o'clock, KPI X5's Wilson Walker on the ambitious new plan to untangle it. I mean, so this is one of the worst examples of 1960s freeway design you can find anywhere in the Bay Area. We have unwalkable walk paths, we have unbikeable bike paths, we have car uh, ways that are incredibly confusing to drive, and that's why the people in this neighborhood call it the hairball. Confusing in a car, a chore on a bike, pretty much a dead zone for pedestrians, the hairball is both a highway and a wasteland driving a great divide between the city's southern neighborhoods. In the short term, we want to start off by solving the homeless encampments, and that's going to take another navigation center somewhere in the neighborhood. Nate Alby is legislative aide to District Supervisor Hillary Ronan, and long term, they're hoping to do a lot more than just clean up this interchange. And that's what we need to do. We need to think big. So uh, undergrounding the freeway is an option, capping the freeway is an option, creating turnarounds in this area is an option. Yes, capping or altogether removing a freeway can be a popular option. In fact, we hear it quite a bit. We're going to look at the option of tearing down the last mile or mile and a quarter. There's a plan to tear down part of Interstate 280 in San Francisco, 980 across the bay in Oakland, and then there's that other big interchange just to the south on 101, which you might call the Alamany hairball. But projects like this come with price tags in the billions. So right now, under the Trump administration, we don't have the kind of federal dollars we need to do major capital projects like this. But Trump is not always going to be in office. And when the next president comes in who asks for shovel ready projects, we want the hairball to be one of them. Now, I've run this idea past some folks who are in the business of Bay Area transit planning. And their reactions range from, wouldn't it be nice, to it's a fantasy. But proponents might have an ace up their sleeve because most of this infrastructure is nearing the end of its natural lifespan. And so we need to be ready and we need to start that work now rather than just throwing up our hands and saying it's, it's too difficult or it's too hard. In San Francisco, Wilson Walk, KPIX 5.